Tonight, we're getting our first look at the evidence being presented in the trial of actor Jonathan Majors. Majors is accused of assault and harassment, and this is him arriving for court this morning in Lower Manhattan. CBS 2's Jessica Moore reports on the Manhattan District Attorney's case. New surveillance video from March 25th shows the black escalade in which prosecutors say Jonathan Majors assaulted then girlfriend Grace Jabari. Jabari testified while in the SUV she saw a woman named Cleopatra text Majors, quote, Oh, how I wish I was kissing you. Jabari says she grabbed the phone from Majors and in his fight to get it back, the actor dealt a blow to the back of her head, twisted her arm behind her back, fracturing her finger, and later shoved her inside the stopped SUV. Prosecutors painted a picture of systemic abuse by majors dating back months. How dare you come home drunk and disturb the peace of our house? I'm I, so would like sorry. To get to, I would like to get to the point. My temper, my <laughs> my trauma block, all that, all that said, right? And I'm gonna say I'm a great man. A great man. The jury saw photos showing items Majors is accused of throwing during an earlier fight with Jabari and text messages where he threatens suicide. But Majors' defense paints Jabari as the aggressor on the night of March 25th, enraged by the text message and later running after Majors following the altercation. They also say Jabari went to Lucy's nightclub after the fight, where surveillance video shows Jabari was not injured and freely using the finger she says Majors fractured. Now on any police medical. She's unconscious. Okay. Um, she's naked from the um, uh, bottom down. Uh, she's my ex-partner. Um, right. Broke up. I came back. Police body camera video shows officers finding Jabari inside the closet of the Chelsea apartment she shared with Majors after he called 911. Police took Majors into another room as paramedics examined Jabari. They eventually took her to Bellevue Hospital, where doctors confirmed her finger was fractured and she had a deep cut behind her left ear. A doctor testified for the defense this afternoon that Jabari's ear wound was not, in fact, consistent with a blow to the head, as is alleged. The defense this morning called for a mistrial, saying prosecutors had not proven their case. That motion was denied. Testimony continues here tomorrow. Outside Manhattan Criminal Court, Jessica Moore, CBS 2 News. And if convicted, majors could spend up to a year in prison.